the president had been far more outspoken when it came to his predecessor's possession of classified documents, which led to the FBI raid of Mar-a-Lago. Former President Trump posed this on social media, asking, when is the FBI going to raid the many homes of Joe Biden, perhaps even the White House? These documents were definitely not declassified. Congressman James Comer, chair of the House Oversight Committee, is also pushing for fairness, writing, we expect the same treatment for President Biden, who has apparently inappropriately maintained classified documents in an insecure setting for several years. And Republican Congressman Michael Waltz added this. My question is, these were apparently documents from his time as vice president. So they've been sitting around for five years. I mean, how long have they been sitting around? Who had access uh, all of this time? How many people had access all of this time? And as you mentioned, the Attorney General Merrick Garland has called on a U.S. attorney based in Chicago to now review these records. We'll send it back to you guys. All right, Alex, thank you so much. So a few things to add here. Apparently this was not in Pennsylvania. It was in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. A University of Pennsylvania was using the former vice president's name at the time. They paid him for that. Okay, so the first one's four. First one's four? Four. Okay. Four. Do you know your numbers? Well, I'm not wrong, right, Forcer? That's totally a facility for Modern Warfare 4 from the campaign. Uh, it's the missile place. <laughs> Come on, God. Oh, God, I can't remember what that means. I don't remember Russian. <laughs> it's been too long. <laughs> 